Bundy's Garage. Bundy here. Hey, today we're working on a Toyota 2UZ FE engine. You're going to find this in your Tundras, your Sequoias, your Land Cruisers, your Forerunners, uh, your Lexus LS 470s, your Lexus GX 470s. What you won't find it in and what it should have come in is your Tacomas. That engine inside of that truck with a four-wheel drive would have been pretty tasty, dude. So, anywho, I want to show you guys how to remove the crankshaft pulley on this bad boy. Sometimes it can be very difficult to get off um, as far as being stuck on there, right? So your best friend in this situation is going to be your PB blaster. Get some penetrating oil between the bolt washer and the uh, crankshaft pulley. Uh, my Milwaukee um, with, with a 22 millimeter socket would not fit between the bolt and the condenser so that's why i have the swivel socket i know i'm losing a lot of torque and power by using a swivel socket but this is what i had and i was trying to break it loose i don't know how guys are getting guns in there that have any kind of balls because uh if you have a gun that's too big uh even with the socket even a short socket 22 millimeter short it's going to hit up against the condenser so there's that to overcome that's with removing the radiator so you can see the swivel socket i got from o'reilly's didn't hold up to the abuse that i was trying to do to it going to be returning that tool tomorrow okay so the next thing i do you have to get a chain wrench uh, like a chain vice grip wrench um, i put it around the uh, crankshaft pulley uh, between the crankshaft pulley and the chain wrench i actually put a piece of old uh, piece of old belt between it so it doesn't damage the uh damage the pulley at all so right there i have a, a, a half inch breaker bar i have a, a cheater bar i think it's about three feet maybe less two and a half feet right there painted it and then I took the chain wrench uh, chain vice grip and put it around the pulley and I lock everything into place and I take my half inch um, half inch breaker bar and while I'm holding the pipe loose that I've inserted into the chain wrench uh, I'm holding everything still and I am able to break it loose like I said earlier put some uh, put some penetrating uh, penetrating lube on that help that get uh, a little bit free but uh, they can be stuck on there, especially if you live in the rust belt where rust is prevalent, it's gonna be stuck in there uh, no matter what. Um, some guys are saying on forums that it's really easy to get the crankshaft pulley off once the bolt's out of the way. It wasn't for me at all. Um, I couldn't uh, grab it, couldn't move it. Uh, it wasn't budging at all. Uh, got a mallet, a rubber mallet, tried hitting it a couple times and nothing. Wouldn't budge loose. So what I had to do was get a uh, pulley removal tool I'll put links down in the description below to everything that I use but uh, right there you can see I'm smashing the uh, smashing it with a rubber mallet and not coming loose at all so here's the uh, pulley removal remover just get that in there um, you put two bolts in hold it in place then you put a bigger bolt down the middle of the crankshaft and as you tighten the uh, that big bolt it's a 19 millimeter as you tighten that down uh, it actually starts to uh, pull the pulley off and i was able to get the pulley off that way uh, you're going to want to pull the pulley off if you're doing time belt if you need to change out the uh, crankshaft uh, front seal or you know just doing maintenance or that breaks off somehow or something but uh, there's the crankshaft pulley the front I'll show you the back here in a second There you go, not much to it. There's the uh, pulley kit I used. There's the mallet you can see. You need a 22 millimeter socket for the crankshaft pulley bolt. It is not reverse threaded, it is normal. Righty tighty lefty loosey on that bad boy. There's the uh, little piece of belt that I used to not damage the crankshaft pulley. And then uh, you need a chain vice grip as well. I'll put the, the uh, how many inches it took or how many inches of chain I had on that on that um, vice grip chain wrench I actually added more when I first got it just so I could uh, tackle jobs I'd be new I'd be coming up against so there you go guys hopefully this has helped you out if you can subscribe and like always I'll keep them rolling for you